Hello everyone, Dr. Stillman here. And today we are going to talk about what I consider to be some absurd health advice that people are handing out via the internet, vilifying one of my favorite food groups, nuts and seeds. I have come to the conclusion that vilifying entire food groups, single nutrients, various other biochemical structures, categories, you name it, is truly the modern day identity politics of nutrition. It is so simplistic and it leaves out so much detail that can make or break a case and your success as a patient, my success as a clinician, okay? Because remember, I actually see patients. So some of the things I see on the internet being hawked as advice just blows my mind that anyone has the gall to say it. Uh, because when you really start to take care of patients in large numbers, doing very intensive dietary histories, you develop a profound respect for just how nuanced and detailed you have to be in order to really understand and draw firm conclusions about what we should eat. And even then you'll start to see patient after patient after patient after patient after patient who breaks rules you thought were set in stone and proves you wrong. So let's talk about what I'm talking about. How do we really, how do I assess whether or not something is something that my patients need to avoid? I like to look at the all-cause mortality data. This data is fraught with problems because it's epidemiological and that means it's, it's subject to many, many confounding factors, which we'll talk about. For example, people who eat nuts and seeds tend to be more health conscious. They're a more expensive food. But let's also bear in mind, and we're gonna talk more about this at the end, that the quality of the ingredient makes all the difference to its health effect, okay? When someone says, I eat a lot of nuts and seeds, and what they really may mean is that they eat some kind of industrially farmed, canned, processed, packaged, roasted, loaded with food additives, flavor enhancers, MSG, whatever, nut and seed mix. That's a very different thing than somebody who's eating something that's fresh, you know, freshly shucked, hulled, organically farmed. This is a very different product, let alone a product like a nut or a seed oil. All these studies are fraught with these problems. So when I am looking at this, I wanna say, okay, do the people who eat nuts and seeds die more often, okay? And indeed, we do not see this. Higher nut intake is associated with reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, total cancer and all-cause mortality and mortality from respiratory diseases, diabetes and infections. So you're gonna tell me not to eat nuts and seeds when this is what the all-cause mortality data says? I care about all-cause mortality. I care about all-cause mortality because if something's bad for you, it should increase all-cause mortality. And if something's good for you, it should reduce all-cause mortality. There's some important caveats to that. The number one caveat I would make is that when there's a lot of money at stake, let's just say that sometimes truth is the first victim. So when I see, let's say, a clinical trial reporting a reduction in all-cause mortality, I know the pharmaceutical industry has done things like sweep suicides under the rugs in order, rug, in order to make their product look better. That's a matter of the historical record. You don't like it, go check it out. Or better yet, do something about it. But the point is, the nut and seed industry, particularly for fresh nuts and seeds, is, is not going to game this data or at least I don't think they are. And it is so robust. Paper after paper, we found that higher nut consumption is associated with lower risk of all-cause mortality, blah, 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 blah. Nut consumption and risk of type 2 diabetes. Again, inversely associated with many, many, many diseases. If this video has been helpful to you, make sure that you check out my link tree below to find out how you can keep in touch with me best. And if you would like to become a patient at my practice, please apply to work with me at stillmanmd.com. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.